going on guys uh my led lights came in for the 2013 chevy malibu as you guys already know i already did the alarm and the remote start on there um i had ordered some led headlights and the led fall lights the headlights is i believe the h11s and the fall lights is the h10 which is the same as the 9005s you might have to trim the plastic piece depending on it all depends but yeah these are the lights right here that i had ordered are ready for them but i i changed my mind and wanted to do a little bit better led light on there so those are right there all the head supposed to be the headlights so the h11 which is they look the same but you can tell which ones are the better ones now you see this Look at this. The ones on the right, which is the cheaper one that I had ordered, but I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. So changed my mind when they got here. Um see how these got the cooling fan on the back of them. It's much bigger and heavier. And then it got the transform on there. So you know, and, and some of these come with like transformers or, or anti-flicker. Or like I believe like the cancelers because the on some newer vehicles they have dead the dash light that shows you when a bulb is out and sometimes those lights won't work it'll, it'll make the, the, the uh, inside of the car act funny with on the dash light is showing that a bulb is out and it's not but this should be fine for that shouldn't have no problem I know that like the uh, the 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 Hondas and Toyotas are picky with the lights, but let me put this back. I'm gonna end up selling these right here, or just keeping them for another project. I'm not gonna get rid of them. You know, I just decided that I don't know how long it's gonna be. I believe it's gonna be a fast sale, but I don't want the lights to go out or anything while I'm holding them to the car, and I really don't want the next person. To have that problem i want them to be able to ride and enjoy the car for at least a while before they have to worry about placing any lights if any if any you know but i could just be like i'm gonna throw the cheapest thing up in the which i was gonna do which i won't be wrong for because it's an aftermarket part you know and i don't have to spend a spend a lot of money but i just you know that's just what i want to do and these lights right here, the LED lights are much better than the regular hollow light. It's it's more of a crisp look, and to me, it add, it add values to the vehicle. Like as you know, in my previous video, I was talking about I'm doing the uh, aftermarket headlight kits. I mean, the aftermarket fall light kit, which I haven't installed yet. But when I install it, I'm gonna upgrade the the regular halogen lights to the LED headlights and led fall lights which in my opinion is a much much better look much better look and it adds value you know all you need is something like that cheaper add value like say for instance like a house you know like a house you can to add value to the house you don't have to do a whole lot of expensive stuff i mean just by painting you know the fence the outside of the house you know the side and Paint the inside of the house. It adds, it adds value, and it attract people to that vehicle. Just like I'm adding a, a um, alarm and a remote starter. I'm adding HID headlights and fog lights. So now that's going to add to the appearance and the security of the car, which is going to attract people. On top that it already run good and look nice. So that's just like an added bonus that 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 pulls them in. And, a, and comfort knowing that okay my my investment is protected you know who don't want to have a you know a vehicle that they finna spend their money on and it's already protected like somebody open up the hood 
the vehicle going to go off. Somebody open up the trunk, the vehicle going to go off. Somebody bust the window, the vehicle going to go off. It also, I also add a tilt um, a sensor on that. So if somebody jack up the vehicle to try to take your tires or your, your Cadillac converter, that's going to go off. Somebody, you know, bust the window out or whatever like that, it's going to go off. You know, is it going to completely stop somebody from bothering your car? Or, uh, No. But it will. It's like a death theft deterrent. It's just a piece of math, you know. And because I done sold plenty of cars and vi people, I mean, the car already ran good, true enough. But people was more focused on, like one lady I sold a vehicle to, she was like, oh, man, I just give me an alarm in the remote starter now. Cause I live in a bad neighborhood and I don't want to come out to a cold car. And I said, it, it already have that, you know, that stuff on it. She was like, what? She like I'm so she just like I'm ready to bad now, just off that man. He's like he like some people like man I'll be more concerned honestly about how I run. But she was just, you know, she trusted me. You know some I guess some people just like I don't know like when I sell stuff online, like I've been selling stuff online for years and Craigslist off of up and people like know me not personally but. My ratings, my word of mouth, like people know me, people, you know, they look, they, they, they just like, they go out, they go off the rating and then, um, what people say and they just like, they, they trust me. Then when I, when they see me and I talk to them, some people, they, they, some people, it's like you could talk to some people and you know what type of person they is. You know, some people will fool you, but you could just, you could just tell by how they talk. If this person a family man, if they got kids, if they always got their family with them, it's like every time you see them, they doing something with their kids. They take care. You just tell a lot about a person. Like I said, it's, it's exceptional. So some of them will fool you, but you you pretty much can you pretty much can tell. But anyway, I know I'm getting out the subjects on the, on the lights, but yeah, I was just trying to upgrade the appearance on it. That's all. Try to make it look newer. You know, because if you, you you're, if you got a slick looking vehicle, I don't care. It's like a haircut. If you got a a, a fire fade haircut, just just like it's it's man cut to the T, faded off the chain, and you you got a weak lining or no lining, like somebody couldn't line, then that just ruins the whole haircut. It's just like a vehicle. You can have the newest vehicle, but if your headlights are pissy yellow or halogen, that dull look, or you got some dirty rims and tires with a with a nice car, that just ruins the whole thing. Like that, you need that appearance for the for the uh for the vehicle, and that's what you can do to um, to give yourself that the edge. I'm telling you, if you're trying to sell a, if you're trying to sell a vehicle and you can afford it, put do put a alarm remote start on there and upgrade like the fog lights. If it don't have fog lights, add fog lights. If it got regular hydrogen light, add some HIDs or LED lights to the fog lights and the headlights. And like wax it up, clean the tires and rims, like polish them and shine them. I guarantee that's gonna that's gonna up that sale. And you'll be able to add some, you know, some hundreds or not even a, if a thousand on to the to the sale, or just like to make it sale. And like sometimes you have a vehicle. That you already got a set price that you're gonna make a half profit off of. Just add, just spend a little money and add that stuff on to it. That's just like a guarantee your sale. That's definitely gonna guarantee your sale. I mean, nothing is guaranteed, but it's almost like foolproof. It's like it's like why not? It's like what can you what you got to lose? You no, know, it's it's be definitely benefiting you to make a sale. But anyway, I'm gonna do an update video uh, when I install these lights. So I gotta put the fall light um, housing the kit on there, the aftermarket fall light. So that's gonna be gotta do that with the switch. And um, yeah. So guys in the market, take that advice and you know if you're trying to sell a vehicle, do exactly what I said. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. But so finna go ahead and wrap this video up. Don't get to comment, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future content. And if you like this content that I'm putting out, just hit that notification bell. Subscribe if you can. 
or you some you don't really have to scrap subscribe if you don't want to just just keep watching my content and if i can help anybody you can email me or put it in the comments below or if you got a question about your vehicle that you think i can answer or help you with or if it's just something that you want to know hit that um hit that bell and hit them comments below i i, I respond to all comments you look at all my comments, I, I respond to them. I try to respond to them the best with the best knowledge I have. If I, if I can't give you the correct knowledge, a correct answer for your question that you're asking, I will definitely find out for you and get back to you one way or another. But your comment will get answered. So, um, see you guys on the next video. Stay safe. Wear that mask. Wash your hands. Put on hand sanitizer. Stay prayed up. Alright, catch you guys on the next video. I'm out. Perfect. 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 Perfect.